the goal was to try to make it for one year. Uh, and I ended up staying away for 20 years. I'm Jeff Eager, and I run a television and video production company here in Prince Edward Island, but my real passion in life is traveling. I grew up here in the Maritimes in the East Coast, uh, and I went to university here. Traveling then was a little bit different. It wasn't as easy to do, it wasn't as accessible, and not as many people were doing it. So it was really a, a something that um, seemed magical or seemed very exotic. And it was just that draw that I, I, you know, I had to go see it for myself. I was 21 years old and my goal was to stay away, uh, stay outside of Canada for one year. That was my first time outside of Canada, my first time on a plane. It really sort of inspired me to, to go again. So I came back and I had a younger brother who was one year behind me in university. So he graduated the next year and we both went. And then I had a, 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 another brother, one year younger than him. And my brother and I, we traveled for another year and came, came back. We collected the third brother and we went again. And uh, my two brothers and I traveled around for, yeah, for the better part of uh, 15 years. We sort of became really good travelers and that was sort of our job. We, we, we saw it as, uh, you know, if we're not working per se, uh, we're, going to, we're going to really sort of use this travel as an education. So that, that kind of became our education. Oh, look at my nose. That's frostbite. Look at that. These helmets are as thick as eggshells. Death trap, baby. We've had many near-death experiences or many dangerous experiences, but one of them was we were traveling from one small island to another in the southern Philippine Sea. So we chartered this old banca boat, and a banca boat is kind of like a catamaran. We were going long distance across the sea, the southern Philippine Sea, and we had all our film gear, we had, you know, we packed on food, so we had thousands of pounds of, of gear on the boat. Shortly after we shoved off land, the boat capsized. So we spent yeah, 14 hours floating in the sea, uh, lost at sea because no one knew we were there, clinging to a capsized boat. Actually, it was my birthday as well, so the boat capsized on my birthday. So I thought I was going to be born uh, and die on the same day. Places we go aren't always safe, most of the time not comfortable. Um, it's one of the reasons that we travel together is because we can't really find anyone else who will travel like this to places like this. So we had, a, we had a travel television series for two years. I lived in Tokyo on and off Japan for about 10 years and I met my wife in northern Japan. So we were running a production company in Toronto, but I was living uh, with my wife in Tokyo and I was going back and forth and it was a very hectic time in my life. I think it was 2011 that uh, they had that massive uh, tsunami earthquake in Japan and uh, they had the nuclear disaster and my wife was pregnant at the time. You know, I ran outside and the telephone poles were shaking and the ground was, uh, you know, was, was uh, buckling. And you have 30 million people living in Tokyo and they all ran into the streets. So you have literally the population of Canada in the streets. You can't go back into your apartments. That was the impetus for us to leave. It was just time for us to leave, my pregnant wife and I. I discovered that Prince Edward Island is very famous in Japan because of Anne of Green Gables. So it was a dream of hers to always come to Prince Edward Island. So leaving Tokyo, coincided with uh, the end of that television series. So we shut the production company down in Toronto. Uh, I got rid of my apartment in Tokyo and then I moved here to Prince Edward Island. So it sort of slowed down my life at 40 years old. Uh, got married, had a kid, built a house, bought a car. My life is more uh, balanced, less extreme uh, than it was you know, 10 years ago or 15 years ago. Now I, I really like coming home. I've, you know, I've built this beautiful home for myself. It's comfortable, it's by the sea, it's calm, uh, and it's just a nice place to relax. And it's nice to have a place that you can call your own. Um, when I traveled for 25 years, I didn't really have a home. I travel with my wife and my daughter now, so it's, it's a nice experience to, to take her along and introduce her to, to other countries and other people and other cultures.